All right, guys, we're back in No Man's Sky, and we are going to be looking for crash ships that are on dead worlds. I'm going to try to expand on the video that I did about a month ago. We're going to this system, guys. This system right here is a low economy system. So it only had one star. So if you have your economy scanner on your ship, that's going to tell you the economy of the system. The one thing I'm going to recommend is you go to systems that have space stations to find these dead planets. Because later in the video, I'm going to show what, what happens if you go to systems with no space station. Uh, this one is all messed up. Uh, this space station, it's a this, you'll see this a lot in low economy uh, systems. But you guys can find these dead worlds in any system that has a space station. Now it's hard for me to go through the list of all the different names for the dead worlds and if you want I'll try to make a list and maybe leave it in the comments or link it in the description if possible because um, they're not all going to say dead planet you just you're going to you're going to learn it like all right right here low atmosphere planet so this world guys is a dead world because it says low atmosphere planet so just read the descriptions of the planet. That's the best key to figure out if this may be a dead planet. Another way is if you go to like all the buildings that you go to on that planet, if they're all abandoned, pretty much all the buildings, if they're, if they're all abandoned, you'll know that's a dead planet. To find the uh, crashed ships, you're just going to have to go to the locations and knock them out. What we'll do is we'll land, I'll throw the signal booster down, I'll use the planetary chart, the normal ways to uh, find these crashed ships, um, and we'll see what happens. The main reason I'm doing this is try to help, help you guys out. Uh, the last video I did a month ago on, on using this method, like I said, had has like 2,000 views, so I figure it would be worth doing a new video, kind of expanding and giving more detail just to try to help some people. And if it helps a few of you guys, then it works for me and it's worth doing this video. So let's see what happens. Lo uh, locate nearby structures. And we'll see if we get a distress signal or not. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so that's going to be an abandoned building. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to use the uh, planetary chart to locate another uh, structure or possibly a, a distress beacon. All right, so it's another abandoned building. So now, guys, what I got to do is I got to fly to those two locations and, and just get out real quick and then use the distress beacon and the planetary chart again. Actually, that's an observatory. Observatory. I think I'm saying that right. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Whatever. All right, I did it again, guys, and I did get a distress signal. So I went to one of the locations, I got out, it registered, I threw down the signal booster, and here we go. We have a distress beacon. So let's see if, if there's a ship there or not. On these dead planets, there's there's uh, two possibilities. <laughs> now, you shouldn't find um, a ship with an alien walking around it. If it's really a dead planet, you won't find that. But you may find this, and that's why I'm putting this in the video. Um, there is no ship here. And I'm going to show you why. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out and let's, let's check out what's, uh, what's going on. Alright, you're going to see there's no ship, but what there is at the distress um, beacon... It's red, and a red anomaly is going to pop up. So I always just broadcast it and I move on. So on these dead worlds, you are going to find this. 
but there should be at least uh, two crashed ships on every dead planet. There may be more, but for me, if I find two, I usually just move on and keep looking. Alright, we are on the same planet. I got another distress beacon. Now, I know for a 100% fact there's going to be a crash ship here. Because on these dead worlds, if you get that red anomaly at the distress um, beacon, then there's only one of those. So every other distress uh, beacon that you find, th there should be a crash ship. So I hope this will help some of you guys out. And like I said, I can't, I can't name all the different names to the dead worlds. I'm just showing a few examples in the video. I can try to take a log of all the different names and maybe put it in the description or in the comments. It looks like this is a Explorer. Hopefully it's like an S class, that'd be really cool. Um, and I did say in the previous video, if I find anything good, it's gotta be S class or exotic, I will do a quick vi video posting the location. Let's see what we got. All right, it looks like it's a B class, so. But it's not horrible. I think it's still worth over a million dollars, so maybe I'll just grab it. I have uh, the space. It's actually not a bad looking ship either. Um, so let's, yeah, we'll claim it. Let's claim this ship, guys. So there's one ship right there. This is a low atmosphere planet. That's just one of the names for these dead worlds. And at the beginning of the video, how I told you, I went to a low economy system, but you don't have to. But you do have to go to one with a space station. All right, let's do it again. Let's see what we get. There should be another ship, at least one more ship on this uh, planet. All right, so this didn't work, so I'll use the uh, planetary chart. I'm going to check the distress beacon because, oh, yep, there we go, boom. So one cool thing is with these uh, distress beacons, you can find some great formulas. It's, a, it's also a great way to uh, sometimes get formulas to different things. Uh, but let's use this chart and let's see what comes up. All right, we have a distress signal. So we do have another crashed ship. We're going to head over there see what we get. Now when it comes to this game and, and posting more content on uh, No Man's Sky, I will do it guys, but I like to have my own ideas and original ideas. So I don't like to take stuff from other people or off Reddit and, and just make videos on it. There's nothing wrong with that. Just for me personally, I like to have my own content, my own stuff, basically. We're gonna head down here. Hopefully it's something cool, but this isn't like a huge um, ship hunting video. It's really just to try to expand on this method a little bit. Um, try to help some of you guys even if this only helps a few people it's still worth doing the video it doesn't take too long for me to do so if it is helping you guys definitely you know hit the like button so I know um, consider subscribing to the channel too that would be awesome uh, but that's up to you we do have another ship it looks like it's an Explorer there will be no little alien walking around where it's like you know you can't get the ship it's just a pain I hate that when you get to a distress signal and that alien's there and you just can't claim the ship. Alright, so this thing is only a C class. It's worth under a million. So I'm not going to take this ship. Uh, but I will hit the distress beacon again. Because last time we got a formula from it. Let's see what it gives us this time. Always report. <laughs> report the fugitives. If it's report, report them. You get rewarded. Look at that. So there's another uh, formula. Sweet. So that's good. Let's check out a few of these planets that are in this system. Um, 
All right, that is not a dead world because you can just see like by the name and then what the the, the planet offers. Like that has star bulb um, and and some other things. If it's a planet with a lot of like vegeta uh, vegetation, that's not a dead planet. I mean, you can still find ships on here, obviously, but you know we're trying to make this process as easy as possible. It's really going to the specific planets. So let's um let's check this one out. All right, this is a dead planet. Like you can read the description. The description of the planet is going to help you determine it. And also, it only offers what? Look at the three things it offers: emerald, cobalt, ammonia. Um, there's nothing else going on here. And it's like um what, deadly. Anomaly or something. I mean you can just tell by the name of the planet. It's not always gonna say dead planet. Alright, in the second half of this video, what I want to do guys is I want to show you what happens if you go to uh, systems that have no uh, space station. up the galaxy map and we're just going to uh, we're gonna pick a system that does not have a space station mm, let's see we're staying I'm staying in this area of stars uh, we'll go we'll go to that one maybe oh, hold on oh we could do this one right yeah <clears throat> Alright, so we entered this system. It, this one does not have a space station, so you should find a lot more dead planets um, in these type of systems. But you won't find any crash ships. Alright, this is going to be a dead planet, guys. Look, it only offers those three basic items, nothing else. And here's another name to this planet. Uh, but this is one way you can tell. This is a dead planet right now. Let's check out this one. Uh, definitely not a dead planet. It's grassy. It's got ancient bones. Uh, star bulb on it. So, not what we're looking for. We'll go check this one out. No, nope, that's a blighted, uh, blighted planet. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. But that's not a dead one. Let's check out this one. Do fiery planet? No, but that's definitely not a dead planet either. Either so. So we're going here. I'm going to show you guys what happens <laughs> trying to find ships on systems that don't have a space station. Another thing I like doing too with No Man's Sky is I like looking for. Like, obviously, like, well, like, Earth-like planets. Beautiful, tropical, beautiful oceans and beautiful views and uh, stuff like that. I like finding those type of worlds. If you guys like to look for really cool world uh, worlds like that, Earth-like worlds, maybe you can build a base there or something. I do have a list of really cool uh, moons and planets. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do a video on that. We'll see what happens. All right, so... Signal is down. Let's locate uh, nearby structures. This should bring me to a distress signal right away, I believe. But let's check it out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so this is what happens, guys. You go to a system, it has no space station. It's going to be real easy to find dead worlds. It's going to be real easy to find distress beacons. But there is a problem, and I'm going to show you what the problem is. I don't really get it myself, why it's like this. It is what it is. We'll see. Uh, 
quick note too, when you're searching for craft ships on No Man's Sky, it does take a while to do. I mean, this is like a 16 minute video, and I had to edit out a lot of stuff. It just takes a while to be able to get around and explore all the worlds. There's so many possibilities in this game. Alright, so we're approaching it right now. Let's see, I'm not, I'm not seeing a ship. There's no ship. Why is there no ship here? I don't get it. The only time there'd be no ship is when there's that red anomaly in the uh, distress beacon. But it's not here. So we're going to just check it out and then wrap this video up. This is actually a very interesting uh, planet. There are so many cool uh, worlds in this game. That's, that's one thing I like about it. All right, there should be a ship here, guys. There should be, but there's not. And I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe someone could tell me why, but I don't know. Distress beacon. This ship appears to be pristine. All systems are functioning. Yeah, but there, the problem is there's no, there's no freaking ship here. So I don't know. Um, you just go to planets that have space stations. This is what happens if you go to ones that don't have them. There's just there's no ship there. So, <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully this will help you guys. If it did, man, definitely drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications um, so you don't miss if I drop a new video on No Man's Sky. My giveaways or just the other stuff I do on the channel. And, um, yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.